Call the meeting to order. Peterson Roll here. Carry in here. Shabilsky here. Grobner here. Let's stand and say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a citizen. Do you have something that you'd like to share with us tonight? Well, I just came here to see how many. My name is Leroy Lewandowski, 8030 West Winston Way. I just came in here to see how many of these people attend the Common Council and know the background of the city. I don't see half of you. In fact, I don't see any of you people on the Common Council. I mean, Common Council. That's all I'm here for, to see what kind of a committee we have. I know Jack Sarkarigan for a long time, and he was stealing water from a, <laughs> the sixth sports arena while he was a county employee, and he was stealing water from Franklin. No wonder they put him on a, a committee like this. That's, why don't you resign? You know, you're a fan. Are we are we done? Okay, that's all okay. I got to say. Okay, thank you. I'm sure, that's in the record. Yeah. All the way around. <laughs> okay, uh, the next item is we need approval of our minutes of our September nineteenth meeting. I move to approve the minutes of the September nineteenth meeting. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Next, we need to approve our voucher list for October. Move to approve the voucher list of October. A second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Report on the water system performance. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this past month was interesting, and uh, the utility is preparing for prepared for winter uh, operations. At 27th and Ryan Road, a fire, fire hydrant was discovered hit and knocked over by an unknown driver. This, this was uh, considered a hit and run and will be repaired by the water department. On October 4th, approximately 10, 10.30 a.m., the water utility was called to Aurora Health Care Center on Loomis Road concerning a water main break. As the utility arrived, the utility observed the fire and police departments on site. The utility had to shut the building completely off in order to locate the break location. This took time and once determined the vicinity of the break, it was decided to start Friday morning due to the time of day and the location of the break. This repair took approximately 13 hours to complete. There were two separate holes in the pipe and both were repaired. The water was restored back to the building Friday evening at approximately 7.30 p.m. On Saturday morning, the area was completed and asphalted. There was extensive damage to the lower level of the building. And they estimate the lower level to be close to over a month. I can uh, add a few things. So we did some research. Um, had a war executive come out there and say, "Who's responsible? Who responsibility is this?" So the facility, I believe, if I have my dates correct, was built, constructed in 1985. Um, at that time, a water main easement was dedicated, so it would have been our responsibility. But in 1996-ish, uh, Aurora expanded their facility, and at that time, they vacated the entire easement. Um, and to make things clear, in 2002, they vacated the easement again. This time they recorded it with the county courthouse. So just to make things clear that it was not our responsibility, so uh, put all of our efforts and so forth into the uh, into St. Luke's or Aurora University. Hey, on uh, October 
October 9th, Monday, the utility responded to a complaint of sump pumps running on River Meadows Court. After uh, investigating the utility, determined there was a leak and located a uh, hole in the lateral. The repair was completed that day. Uh, meter changeout program has come to a halt due to the lack of new meters. Right now, we're pe testing meters and uh, changeouts only are being uh, done from the meter reading session. Um, meter reading was completed this past month and the billing has been sent out. And it. I'd also like to add, uh, you may uh, hear from some of our residents in the northwest corner of the city about survey that's going out. The situation is gentleman contacted staff one day and asked what it would take to get water up in the northwest corner hill park area and uh i said well i, I need to know that, that it's more than just you because he was this person was on the basically edge of uh, muskego and to get from point a to point b i would have had to go past a lot of other homes so this gentleman did a lot of work he provided a petition with 82 signatures on it so I took the Common Council and I was authorized to send out a survey. 279 surveys were sent out. Um, if you haven't heard about it, you might be the only people in town that haven't received a copy. Uh, one gentleman is campaigning very hard for it. One gentleman is campaigning very hard against it. A lot of people kind of irritated with one side or the other. So it's been quite a popular conversation. So if you can imagine Woods Road to the north, like 116th Street to the west, um, as I tell folks, we're, we're trying to find a, a path uh, to go by the homes that really want it and maybe avoid all the homes that don't. So um, it's probably not a perfect world to be able to find that out, but uh, I'm anticipating that first meeting in November, I will uh, return to Common Council with a summary of the results, recommend a project or projects. Are Do we know what caused the leak in Aurora? Still, to be honest, uh, Jordan, no. Um, the pipe was still wrapped. Our best, well, my best guess, we might have another, I think, laid on number two stones. The vibration back and forth throughout the year. One, one section was about a foot long, 14 inches long, that had two, six, seven inch holes oblong. We got that together, turned the water on, and water from the other way it was one size of a golf ball. They were both all both leaks were on the bottom of the pipe. Do you know how much water was there? At least a hundred thousand. Most likely, your best. So basically, it could happen again. They were uh, told timely that maybe they should start thinking about a real weekend. Uh, right. Okay. We're aware of it. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, Any questions? Okay. Let's go on. Unfinished business. A. Wholesale Public Water Supply to Franklin 2024. The board may enter into a closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.851E to deliberate upon information terms and provision of the potential provision of public water supply to the city of Franklin as related to the city Franklin Municipal Water Utility and its customers in 2024 and beyond and the potential negotiation of terms in relation thereto, including but not limited for potential amendments to the uh, amendment for Oak Creek to provide water at wholesale to Franklin, potential agreement terms with alternate public water supply sources, including but not limited to the City of Milwaukee, Milwaukee Water Works, financial analysis study of long-term water supply, and the investing of public funds and governmental action into relation thereto for competitive and bargaining reasons, and to re-enter open session at the same place thereafter to act upon such matters discussed therein as deemed appropriate. 
Is there a motion to do so? I moved. Second. By roll call. Peterson, aye. Kipniak, aye. Carey, aye. Pilsky, aye. Grosvenor, aye. Motion carried. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Is there anything that you need to point out to us? Oh, before I go, um, no, there's really not. Um, the first page, I just basically stated out all the um, capital projects for you. Um, the proposed budget is page two. Um, I will note that there is an increase in the source of supply that is um, our wholesale water to Oak Creek. I honestly, after doing some research with Paul, I can't tell you how they got the 23 proposed budget numbers last year. Um, what I can say is him and I worked through, um, you'll see the spreadsheet that's one, two, three, four, page five with the highlight um, of the quarter four forecast. Um, the bottom of that page basically states all the, the um, gallons that were billed in 23 with a projected number for 24. Um, our 22 PSC water loss percentage was 19%. They were using, I believe, 12% in the 22 budget, which didn't seem realistic as our PSC numbers were, I believe, 14 or 15%, and now in 22 it's 19 so to make that a little bit more reasonable, our um, expenses to Oak Creek are going to go up. This is all projected. I mean, I can only go off of, I know, Dan, we talked at the last meeting about some more realistic revenue numbers, and I wanted to say that I put together the spreadsheet that you'll see, which is the third page, that I only have 18 through 23 on here, but all of my revenue numbers are from 20. 14 to 23 so I'm using 10 years worth of data which will capture wet and dry years when I'm looking at um, customer numbers and revenue based on gallons and usage so if you want to look that over 3% um, increase in pay otherwise everything was pretty flat um, a little bit of inflation in expenses but not much we still have a, a very healthy cash disposition. Um, we will be using impact fees and cash on hand to support the water tower project. Does the water loss percentage include used by fire? Yes. Okay, because we used to look at that, and we, that seems really high again. Yeah, but that, is, that is quite a bit higher than we had. We used to, I mean, I don't know if that was without the, the, the fire use, but our numbers used to be, we, in fact, we got chastised by the commission to get a hold of our water loss. So, and Paul had made that very clear that it this seemed pretty um, odd that it was the PSC had it at 19% because they'd always worked very hard on keeping it under 14. Yeah. And so I'm not sure, but to make it more realistic, that's what we felt we put it at. Keep in mind, we're doing a water loss survey again next year. That is on here, yes. That, so 24, we will have that done. How many homes? Huh? How many homes they had a year? With the residential increase so I estimated about 50 for the year of 23. I'm sorry, year of 24. It's been roughly that in 23. Um, I don't have any other. I just said that's pretty cool. Yeah. Homes. How many new meters do you stick out? That's pretty it's looking at what, and even with um, solid waste. Does this need to get adapted tonight? No. no November. Okay. November. So we can look at this. Again. Yes. Okay. Yep, that first page. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. We appreciate You're that. Welcome. I'm trying to get back to the, the Paul way, as, as I'm told. So. Okay. I'm going to go. Thank you very Thank much. You. So please reach so out if was, you guys have questions. That was C, right? Uh, um, I'm sorry, what number? 
the billing statistics and financials. Yeah, those are all in there and attached as well. Okay. So. No surprises. Is there anything to discuss? No, no surprises. Thank you. Okay. So it's just information. Just yeah. information. Okay. Back up to 6C. 6B. 6B, okay. City of Franklin water transmission and main contract A and City of Franklin elevated storage tank contract B. I will tell you that I had a neighborhood meeting with folks up and down Waters Lane last week. Um, they showed up with their pitchforks and I explained things that we had done differently and we were not doing the south leg and we had the new um, code to um, not assess them unless they were to ever connect to it or, or, or um, flip their property up. And then most of them seemed happy. Then another issue came up that they, they kind of jumped on the bandwagon and deal with our park that we're developing next door. It doesn't pertain to you, but uh, at least as far as the water issue goes, completely happy. A couple don't like the idea of having to look at a water tower, but I explained it's got to happen. Anyway, so hopefully all the opposition, at least concerning the water project, is nice. And then we're bidding, bidding processes. Both, both projects are currently out to bid. They advertise the first time last week. It'll advertise the second time uh, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Pre-bid conference for the tank suppliers is next Thursday at 10 a.m. in the boardroom. Um, we anticipate taking bids on both projects a half hour apart on November 16th. But uh, as of about 2 o'clock this afternoon, we had eight contractors had pulled the transmission main plans and six contractors had pulled the tower plans, including the four main tower suppliers in the last month. So we feel pretty good about it. We haven't gotten a lot of questions, although it seems as though we missed one change in the addendums relative to the component connection. So there will be an addendum following the Pre-bid next week. I think the costs are going to come in line with what you think, or are we going to have to go back to the commission? In our it's, re it's really a crapshoot at this juncture, Jim, to be honest with you. Um, we have eliminated a good chunk of the uh, transmission main, basically, was it, Glenn, about 2,000 feet on the south end? It was the longer side. Um, it was the longer section, but the northern section has more wetlands, so as such, there's more directional drilling, less open cutting, so it could go either, either way, to be honest with you. I, I don't anticipate the tank moving a great deal. Um, I think we'll, we'll be in that 7%, no, it's 7 okay. million threat threshold, but it could be a little high, a little low. And keep in mind, we, we have a 10% built, built right into that, so. Good. Right. Offhand, do you know just what the tank alone would cost? Off the top of my head, no, okay. I do not, but I can probably tell you with a fairly accurate degree of certainty what I think it would be based on if I looked at it. Okay. Be nice if you could do that next time. I will take care of that for sure. Thank you. Have the bids due? Uh, November 16th. We'll have the bids. Yeah, the, the, we're, we're bidding it five days before. Um, and I, I wanted to do it before Thanksgiving, too. And if, if, if everything goes according to plan, when would we start construction? Well, it'll take them a while to get everything put together. I would anticipate they'd probably start foundation uh, construction in the spring. <laughs> March, March of 24. Thank you. Can you just get that when you think it's going to be to Glenn, so Glenn can mail it out to us? Okay. New business, we have A and B, it's just for informational purposes, correct? Unless somebody else. Okay. Election of officers, do we have to do that tonight? Yeah, I want to nominate Gary and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> so moved. Oh, is that a second? <laughs> this is a second. All right. Okay, motion has been made. Second, all those in favor say aye. 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 There you go. Ayes have it. Since you made that decision, you need to know that I'm on I'm on, I'm on borrowed time for the moment because I haven't been reapproved yet. So oh, you may end up. Is that ready. tonight? No, I don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, just came to my attention an hour ago. So 
Apparently, we're supposed to be uh, going over there, according to Leroy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I got some water to steal. So I'll yeah. Down one. Well, I think the only one he wants to see over there is Jeff. We got a jury. We, we, got a jury. we need a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. So moved. Thanks, Tyler. Second. Second. <laughs> oh, whatever, Sam. Uh,